I saw a tweet from some Dutch scientists. They put out that they could find coronavirus in the wastewater in Amsterdam. And so I immediately asked the university, could we get some funding to look for this with the goal of building a statewide surveillance network. We can test wastewater for evidence that there's COVID-19 in the community. And if we do find it, then that's indicative of how intense transmission is in the community and how dangerous it might be regarding COVID. And importantly, when we don't find it, we can confirm that that community is free from coronavirus transmission, or at least the transmission is very minimal. We expanded to central New York and a few other places. And then more recently, the State Health Department has increase the scale of this. Our full coverage target is 225 treatment plants all across the state. And this will become the primary metric to gauge the transmission of coronavirus going forward. Possibilities are actually quite numerous. We were exploring dengue and Zika, mosquito-borne diseases. We're exploring malaria, HIV. We're actually proposing to the state to stand up an opioids and illicit drug use wastewater surveillance network to empower the public health response to the opioid epidemic. This has been quite a fulfilling endeavor. And we're really trying to build something that makes New York State more health secure and better prepares us for any other uh, infectious disease threats. Students involved in this project, they see the full spectrum of research for public health, keeping our community safe using science. I like to think of our project as keeping the state of New York open open socially, open economically. So I consider this process to be extremely important for public health. So the university empowering me as a scientist was fundamental. Giving me the space and the funding and the support to pursue this has been really excellent. And going forward, you know, it'll be a great partnership with the state.